The system we have here shows a collimated beam entering a singlet lens, which couples the light into a single mode fiber. I have Gaussian apodization turned on, so we can see that there's a higher concentration of rays uh, towards the middle of the beam. Now let's say we want to maximize the coupling efficiency into the single mode fiber. And we can do this by optimizing the uh, front and back curvature of the singlet lens and the spacing from the back of the lens to the single mode fiber down here. I've set all three of these parameters to be variables in my lens data editor. So that means that they will change as we optimize the system. Now there are two different ways that we can model single mode fiber coupling in Optic Studio. One is using the single mode coupling feature here. And the other is using uh, the physical optics propagation analysis shown here. I'm going to show you the single mode coupling feature, which computes fiber coupling for single mode fibers with a Gaussian shaped mode. Uh, if you want to see more about the physical optics method, uh, you can look in our knowledge base. Uh, but the physical optics method is a more detailed and flexible computation. So let's go ahead and open up the single mode coupling analysis. So the fiber coupling efficiency, it can be computed based on a two fiber or a one fiber model. And the one fiber model only considers the NA of the receiving fiber. Um, in this case, our laser beam is coming in collimated. So we're gonna use the one fiber model where we're only considering the numerical aperture of the uh, receiving fiber over here. Okay. The system efficiency shown here, this represents light that's lost in the system before the receiving fiber. And this can be caused by vignetting, bulk absorption, or Fresnel reflections. Then aberrations, in the optical system will introduce phase errors, and then this affects coupling into the fiber. Okay. This will reduce the receiver efficiency shown here. Uh, the best coupling efficiency is achieved when the mode of the uh, wavefront converging towards the receiving fiber perfectly matches the mode of the fiber in amplitude and phase. And we can define this mathematically as an overlap integral between the fiber and the incident wavefront amplitude. Okay. And this is how the receiver efficiency is calculated here. Okay. Then the coupling efficiency is just the product of the system efficiency and the receiver efficiency. There's also a theoretical maximum efficiency shown here. Okay. And this is computed assuming that the system doesn't have any aberrations. Okay. So if we expand the settings, you can see where the numerical aperture of the receiving fiber can be entered in. Okay. You'll also see there is a use polarization checkbox here, which includes losses due to bulk absorption and Fresnel reflections. So this means that Fresnel reflections at um, the face of the single mode fiber can also be incorporated if we have a material specified here um, at the face of the fiber. Okay. I'm going to save these settings and click OK. So you can see now that um, our coupling efficiency is very low. It's about 10%, which means it really does need to be optimized. We can use this information in the merit function with an FICL operand. Um, I've already entered this into the merit function, but here you can see this 10% value reported here matches the coupling efficiency right here. I also entered in some boundary constraints just to make sure that the thickness of the lens as well as the air spacing after it doesn't get um, uh, too thick or too thin. Okay. Then all we need to do is go to the Optimize tab and click on Optimize to run a local automatic optimization. We can also turn on Auto Update okay, to see how the uh, lens changes as our system is optimized. Uh, the current merit function is dropping pretty quickly and you can already see the shape of the lens start to change. 
I'm going to turn off auto update just to speed this up. But let's let this run for a few seconds. Okay, I'm going to call that good. Let's stop the merit uh, function from optimizing further now. Okay. But you can see our merit function has dropped dropped significantly. So I'm going to exit out of here now. And we can update all the windows. My coupling efficiency has increased to over 77%. Again, this is including losses due to bulk absorption and Fresnel reflections too. All my boundary constraints are within spec. And we can see the thickness from the back of the lens to the front face of the fiber has been reduced significantly. We also have very different curvatures on the front and back of the lens.